everyone, it's Bree, and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team. And I'm going to be working with all of these sequin mixes here. Well, not all of them. I think I maybe don't use uh, Red Rapture is the one I don't end up using. Okay, so what I'm working on today is I am going to be working with this pattern paper from Pink Fresh Studio. It's from their Little or Just a Little Lovely collection. And I am going to make shakers, tiny shakers or mini shakers. Uh, within this pattern paper. So they have all, as you can see, it's in rainbow order and they have all these flags um, down uh, the side or from the top or from the bottom, however you um, have your, uh, have that paper oriented. So I am going to be taking my blade and I'm going to be cutting little squares into a few of these flags so that I can make my shaker um, that way. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have got my little blade and my ruler or my little guide here, and I'm going to carefully, <coughs> excuse me, um, cut out, <coughs> oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I'm going to cut out some rectangles in those um, flags or tabs, however you want to call it, and that's how I'm going to make my shakers. Now, of course, when I first started, I had my scissors, and I don't know what I was doing. I was cutting into it, not sure why, because I needed to have a place where I could have a foam on that side where I cut in. So I just had to have a window within the shape. That way I can have my foam tape go around that window, if that makes sense. So I've got my, my guide again that came with my mixed media mat and I am drawing or cutting into the paper on those ends so I can remember to stop there and not go all the way through the paper. So as you can see here, I sped it up and um, or I cut most of it out. And I, you can see my little windows there. Um, so I am going to be trimming out some or up some foam tape. That way I can create my little reservoir or I can have my um, sequins laying in there. So they can shake a little bit, but not too much. I just mainly wanted to display all of these sequins in rainbow order um, that matched the pattern paper. Hopefully I explained that right. <laughs> and I cheated. I did write. Um, the colors with pencil on the back so that way I knew exactly which window needed the specific sequins. So I have got my acetate out and I'm just trimming it and then I'm going to glue it um, onto my paper to create my little window. Uh, this was, you know me, I love shakers so much and I'm always trying to find a different way to create um, new ones or techniques or something different. And somebody may have already done this before. Uh, I just saw this pattern paper and have been wanting to use it. And I thought, okay, a bunch of rainbow sequins were just released by Jody. Um, oh my gosh, was it October? No, September. And I still had a bunch of them. So I thought, okay, well, this would be perfect to use them with this pattern paper. So that's what I did. And I love all these sequins so much. And you know me, I'm addicted to rainbow order right now. And I thought it would be perfect and fun to create uh, this little shaker within some pattern paper. So I have my acetate all cut down and glued down and I'm going to take some foam tape that I've trimmed and I'm just doing one layer. So I am um, positioning it around my little windows and then releasing the, um, or taking off the release paper. That way I can uh, shape it around my little window here. So I'm just going to go through and do that. And I'm working with my stash. I have so much stuff from my kit that I have yet to work through. And I'm getting my new kits here um, from the Hip Kit Club in uh, probably sometime shortly, actually. So I'm really trying to use up what I've got um, because I've got a lot more coming in. And I, I want to be able to use them. So I'm trying to work through what I've got. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm doing right here. Sorry. <laughs> I think I was looking for something. Um, not sure what, but yeah, so I am just trimming it here. And like I said, just, uh, creating the little windows. And now I'm going to go ahead and start adding the sequins into each little tiny window. So I poured them out and then in these mixes, Jody has added some really teeny tiny t sequins in there and I love them. And in shakers, they are perfect. So that's why I grab my little spoon here so I can make sure to grab those tiny pieces and make sure that 
effects are in my little windows here. So I've got the blue and that's blue blood grin and the purple was purple passion. And what's next? Um, green, so green, uh, this mix is green galore. And I love this mix, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna pour those in and try to get as much as I can of you know the variety into each little pocket here. Now this one, I'm sorry, it, this sequin mix is no longer available. It is probably my top five sequin mix. It's called Confetti Cake, and that's all I have of it that's left, or that's all that I have in my stash. So I've mixed it with a little bit of Bell's Ball to get some of the brighter yellows because the Confetti Cake, it's a very, very soft, pale yellow. Uh, and so I wanted a little, like a brighter yellow, a little more of a brighter yellow, so I added that one in with the Confetti Cake. Um, and then I'm going in with some what's that one? pink poison. And it's just a really pretty pale pink. And I'm going to scoop those in there. But yeah, like I said before, I love to create shakers. And I hope I've inspired you in some way, whether it's this technique or another one of my other techniques to create shakers on your scrapbook layout. Okay, so I've added my last color. That's Fab Fuchsia. And like I always do, I always add extra adhesive to my foam cape just to make sure that my sequins um, get sealed correctly or my little shakers get sealed and no sequins escape and they are pretty permanent. And I'm going to be backing all of the little sequin shakers uh, with vellum, my favorite go-to uh, sequin shaker backer. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Um, but yeah, I love how this turned out. Like, look, how pretty is that? It's just very subtle, simple, but you can still see them and it's just fun. Um, I decided to flip this pattern paper on its side. People have usually, usually all the banners and the stuff um, go down from the top, but I wanted to have a different, um, I guess, layout, I guess you could say. So I just flipped it on its side and I thought it still looked cute. And I just uh, tore up um, the edge and then I grabbed another piece of pattern paper. I believe that one's from Pretty Little Studio and I tore that one as well. And I'm just going to be working with the Just the Little Lovely collection. Like I said, I don't add anything else other than this collection. I have a lot of it left, surprisingly, because I absolutely love Pinkfresh Studio. Um, and I think I've been secretly hoarding it and not realizing that I'm hoarding it. So I'm trying to get, not get rid of it, but I'm trying to use it up. And for my title, it's going to be Sweet Memories because I thought it would be so cool to have my title on the side and it be sideways. And uh, the sweet kind of nestled in perfectly. Um, the E and the T right there nestled into the M and the E. And I love how that turned out. So I'm going to um, take this photo of my son Noah and back it with some um, of that same pattern paper. And I may have scrapbooked this photo. I'm not sure. It may have been in a smaller scale on a different page, well, obviously, but um, I wanted, I had it in a larger size and I love how this, I love him in this photo basically. So I wanted to document it again. And um, I just love all those banners, like all the, the phrases that it says. And so I thought uh, it would be great for this layout. So I backed it with some pattern paper and then I'm gonna back it again with some vellum. And hopefully, uh, this video is not freezing. I don't understand what's going on with my computer right now. It's kind of freaking out. Um, but it's like skipping. So hopefully my voiceover is like okay and um, with whatever you're seeing right now. I pulled the puppy stickers from the collection and I've added some uh, of the embellishments on um, to tone on tone. And I've added some of the puppy stickers. I added the that little phrase that says incredible. And I've got the, let's see, those dimensional stickers on the right. And then I've pulled the ephemera as well so I can see if I can add any of those pieces onto my layout. I am gonna do some layering underneath my photo. And I don't like to throw anything away. I don't know if you guys are like that, but there was a flower or a floral piece in that, this piece that I'm working with. So I trimmed it. That way I could use the little edges 
to poke out from my photo. And I needed some um, adhesive, or no, I'm sorry, I'm not adhesive. I needed some foam tape on the top because it was uneven and it was driving me crazy. And there's this frame also from the ephemera pack that I just trimmed down so I can add to the bottom. And then I'm going to also carry that blue up to the top. I had so much fun making this layout. It's a lot of fun. I did get nervous though. Do you guys get nervous when you use those like razor blades? I I guess I just had this fear that my hand was gonna slip and it's gonna just like run and slice my finger. So be careful if you do decide to do that or you know cut into your pattern paper. Just you know go slow and be careful. <laughs> I didn't cut myself, but just in case. I added this little dimensional sticker. It says all the small things. And if you can tell, my son is wearing, not wearing, he's got his guitar on his back. It's like a backpack and he has his little Fender um, electric guitar. And so he was, he's totally into that song, All the Small Things by Blink-182. So I guess now every time I see that sticker, I just uh, think of that song. And I thought it was perfect because uh, I had snapped this photo. We were on his way. We were on our way to his guitar lessons um, downtown. And he's just so dang cute. But that's it. I did add some enamel dots and the date with my um, date stamp. And my code is Brianna15 to save you 15% off in the shop. Here is my final layout. I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for commenting, watching, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.